Welcome to the session on camera shots, types and composition. The way your camera interacts with the scene dictates the way your audience feel they are interacting with the scene. How do you want your audience to feel watching a scene? Do you want them to feel disoriented, detached? Should the story feel serene, off balance or uh, static? Different shots convey different tones to a scene. Answering these questions first will help decide what types of shots to use. Moving from long to close shots is a trade-off between showing informative visuals or uh, uh, intimate emotions. Let's take a closer look at the different types of shots and how they can set the tone for a scene. Describing shots. When describing shots or creating them, you have to think about three important factors. The framing or length of shot, the angle of the shot, and the camera movement involved. Framing or uh, shot length. Shots are various types based on the distance from the object and the angle through which the camera captures the visual. In determining the shot, the concept of distance or proximity is important. On this basis, there are three basic positions, long shot, medium shot, and close up. However, there are many points in between and outside these three fundamental shots, such as uh, medium close ups and uh, extreme long shots. Generally, these alternative positions are treated as variations from the basic three. Let us discuss it in detail. The long shot, or uh, in short, LS. The whole of the artist's body is included in this shot. Headroom will be increased and uh, there must be a space between the artist's feet and the bottom of the frame. But there must always be less foot room than headroom. If they are equal, the artist will appear to be suspended in the shot. The medium long shot, or MLS. This is sometimes called the three-quarter shot, and this gives a good indication of the framing. Headroom continues to increase as the shots become wider, and the bottom of frame runs about the level of the artist's knees. But remember that the eyes are still all important. They must be placed in the optimum region. As the camera person widens his shots, he will see more and more of the setting, props, and other elements of the scene. And these must be taken into consideration when he is deciding on his composition. The mid shot or MS. In this shot, the bottom of frame will cut a standing man somewhere near his waist and more headroom will be allowed than for the MCU. If the artist is sitting, the bottom of the frame should cut the arms of a normal easy chair this is the standard interview shot which can be seen dozens of times in the course of regular viewing. The medium close-up or MCU. Here, with the eyes placed once again in the imaginary band, headroom will be a little greater than our previous shot, the CU. The bottom of frame will probably run just beneath the breast pocket of a man's suit, but this is mentioned merely as a guide. The close-up, CU. The close-up allows the correct amount of uh, headroom to ensure that the top of the head will be very near the top of the frame. And the bottom of the frame will then be roughly at the spot where the points of a man's collar would be. But do not run the bottom of frame through the artist's throat. The head must have something to stand on. More often than not, these close shots will be taken with narrow angle lenses and uh, this invariably means little depth of field. The camera person must be particularly careful to keep the lens focused on the eyes. Very little movements of uh, the artist can take his eyes outside the depth of field and uh, the camera person can guarantee to hold focus. Extreme close-up. Obviously, the point of this shot is uh, to direct the viewer's attention at the face. It is used when the features or expression of the subject are dramatically important and when the director wants the viewer to concentrate on them to the exclu exclusion of uh, anything else. From the camera person's point of view, the most important rule to remember is this. When a shot is so tight 
that uh, some portion of the head must be excluded, then it is the top of the head which must be cut off. It is bad framing to include the top of the head and exclude the mouth. Apart from the fact that the eyes would be in the wrong position in the shot, the exclusion of the artist's mouth would disturb the viewer. He must see this feature in addition to the eyes if he is to experience the full effect of the BCU.